Hello, I'm Steve Perkins, the Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, and today we're looking at some of the art in our collection. Uh, in fact, we're here at the Vermont History Museum in our Two Cabins exhibit, which is part of the Freedom and Unity exhibit. We just reinstalled this space, and I really encourage all of our members to come out and take a look at some of the really interesting pieces that we've installed here. Today we're going to look at the piece that is right here to my left called Social Security by the artist Francis Colburn. So uh, I think many of you may know about Francis Colburn. You may have even heard his records. He was quite the storyteller in the 1950s, but he was a, a very accomplished and well-trained artist born in Vermont. He studied both in New York and in Bennington during the Great Depression. Um, kind of got his start as a social realist, which is that style that we really associate with the Great Depression. If you think like Thomas Hart Benton, that, that type of painting. Painted what he saw, but more and more he started to look inside himself and think, thought about how are Vermonters reacting to both the landscape around them, but also the world around them and what was happening. So after his time in Bennington, he, he taught in Barton and in Orleans County and then ended up in Burlington where he was the first really art teacher at UVM and started the art department there and was a well-loved teacher and art professor in Burlington uh, until uh, really his death in the 1970s. The painting that we look at right here was painted in 1946, which was right after World War Two, and uh, he gave us a clue as to what he was thinking about by entitling it Social Security. I look at this piece and I compare it back to some of his earlier pieces he did during the Depression, which were darker, a bit more somber, and you can see there's a bit of a lightning in his mood. He's going more abstract, which was starting to happen in the world of art. He never went to be a completely abstract artist, but he started to put some abstract elements into his artwork, and you saw, start to see a lot more angles and planes within that painting. But as you can see, there's a, a woman sitting in the center of the painting um, on her nice couch here, obviously an older woman, but you see this beautiful sunny background, um, these little white picket fences, um, you know, we're, we're end of World War II, rolling into the 1950s. This was the vision of the ideal American life. And for him, coming out of the Depression, what's one of those things that's making that happen? It really was Social Security. And I think he's definitely making a comment on, you know, here's a, an older woman. She's probably, she's lived through the turn of the century. Vermont was a very poor state, lived through the Great Depression, and now she's secure. So we've placed this piece in these two cabins, which represent Vermont from about 1900 up through World War II, and so it kind of anchors the end of that story. So to learn more about this, please visit us at the Vermont History Museum, um, but you can also check us out online at vermonthistory.org and on social media.